Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about reliability, which is one of the characteristic of a standardized test. A standardized test is administered and scored in a consistent or a standard manner. They are designed to stabilize the questions, conditions for administering, scoring procedures, and interpretations as consistent. A standardized test could be true or false, multiple choice, authentic assessments, or essay type. It is possible to shape any form of assessment into a standardized test. When creating psychometric evaluations, questions are measured in scales. Psychometric reliability refers to the level to which test scores are accurate and free from measurement mistakes. For example, a test measuring intelligence should yield the same score for the same person after completing the test each time. Reliability is mathematically defined as the ratio of the variation of the true score and the variation of the observed score. There are generally four types of reliability. The test retest reliability is measured by administering a test twice at two different points in time. This type of reliability assumes that there will be no change in the quality or construct being measured. Alternate or parallel form reliability indicates how consistent test scores are likely to be if a person takes two or more forms of a test. Inter-rater or inter-observer reliability indicates how consistent test scores are likely to be if the test is scored by two or more raters or observers. Internal consistency reliability measures the consistency of results across items within a test. Some of the commonly used reliability tests in present time are split half method which involves splitting the items into two sets and then the score is computed for each set of items. The next is the Kuder-Richardson test which is a measure of internal consistency reliability for measures with dichotomous choices. Kronbach's alpha is the average of all possible split halves. It can be used for dichotomous and continuously scored variables. The term coefficient alpha is interchangeably used with Kronbach's alpha. Psychometric tests can have two different categories of errors. They are systematic and unsystematic. Systematic errors are factors that impact the test construction and are inbuilt in the test. Unsystematic errors are resulting from random factors such as how the test is taken or given. Numerous factors influence the psychometric reliability of tests. The timing between two test sessions affect test retest and alternate or parallel form reliability. Changes in subjects over time such as their environment, physical state, emotional and mental well-being must also be considered while assessing the reliability of psychometric tests. Test-based factors such as inadequate testing instruction, biased scoring, lacking objectivity can also influence the psychometric reliability of tests. In the next video, let's talk about validity of psychometric tests. Hope you find this video useful and please subscribe. Thank you.